All right, I'm just getting some breaking news in right now. So uh, literally in the last 60 seconds, a number of subway lines in New York City have just been evacuated uh, because of an explosion uh, near 42nd and 8th. So it's near the Port Authority as well. So um, from the NYPD directly, NYPD responding to reports of an explosion, unknown origin, at 42nd and 8th in Manhattan. The AC and E lines, very busy lines, it's the height of the rush hour, are all being evacuated at this time. We're hoping, again, this is a precaution, but at this point, the story is just now coming into uh, the newsroom. So we will stay on top of that story and have, have the very latest for you uh, this morning. Okay, thanks. And uh, what's, uh, what's been going on with that? We also have you covered here in uh, Toronto a big mess on the 401 as well this morning mm -hmm. because of a closure out at Martin Grove. A and fatality. Yeah, and it just goes to show too that we just we have one highway shut down, and it's right now in parts of South Etobicoke, it is just gridlock. Mm -hmm. right and then this evening we have some snow on the way that we could cause some travel issues. Uh, we weren't into the snow through the weekend, but many areas outside of the city of Toronto mm. have snow on the ground, and it's some good news for many because people like to go skiing, and yeah. there's a big snow economy that's out there. Snowmobiling and yeah. all that. Uh, Buffalo, though, has already gotten its most... Every time I look at a Buffalo station, schools are closed for the last week or so. So yesterday, the Colts uh, the Colts came with yeah, the, the Bills. Bills the Colts. weather that they played in, that was crazy. Well, in How order, did they not slip and slide? I don't know. In order to make the kick, they got to find where they are, what yard line, right? Yeah. So take a look at this uh, from Buffalo. That's not a late dusting, that's a dumping. So they had, they had to keep clearing the line. Now that's what we had to do during the Great Cup too, yeah. remember? They had to keep it clearing the lines. The same thing. And you see the shovel in the air. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That commitment right there. Yeah. Oh, you feel for those players, man. They have no choice. Yeah. Wow. They had to actually call a timeout to clear a spot uh, for one of the kicks because... With all the money in sports, do you not think at this point, with late with games going so late, like this could have also been what happened for uh, the, the TFC game Saturday, right? Yeah, very it's easily. So late in, in the year for winter. <laughs> Would they this not have the heated for like heated something with all the money they have? This makes the game better, though. It makes it more interesting. Look, we're talking about here. Look like where they cleared <laughs> yeah. the snow. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. All right. Well, it's not going to be like, well, it, no, we're going to avoid it for the parade, right? We're avoiding it for the parade, but for the evening commute, it's just going to be some light snow through the overnight tonight and tomorrow morning driving in right here on BT. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a, a tricky drive tomorrow morning. It could affect flights, too, so yeah. make sure you check. Yeah. All right. So still following that New York uh, situation for you, as well as the problems here in Toronto, it is 8 o'clock.